and welcome to the release video of my Cozy Days collection. So, I am releasing the Cozy Days mittens. which um, are part of the Cozy Days collection. They are the last pattern in the collection, which all started with this beautiful shawl, or cowl, I should say, because it's a cowl, with this cowl from, uh, actually not from, it's a collaboration between me and uh, Ashley from Comfy Cozy Knits. So she sent me two skeins of yarn in her Deck the Halls colorway and originally I wanted to pair some mohair and create one of those uh, funnel neck cowls I guess you would call them and I started thinking about it some more once the yarn arrived and I wasn't really liking the idea so instead what I did is I designed a I don't like a wraparound cowl I guess it's called so it's it's decently large and you start with a provisional cast on and you knit these chevrony kind of stripes alternating mohair and the fingering yarn And there's some variations. I'm sorry, it's really hard to show, <laughs> but there's some variations in it where you only knit one stripe and then you knit like four, sh four stripes and yeah. And then eventually you come to this large section in the middle where it's only the fingering and you knit this beautiful snowflake pattern. And yeah, it's got an I-cord edge with yarn overs. And the whole thing uses one 25 gram skein of finger, uh, mohair. Yes, mohair, 25 grams of mohair. I pretty much ran the whole thing out. And it uses, um, I can't remember how much fingering, but it wasn't a full skein. Oh, maybe it was. No, yes, okay. So it's a full fingering skein and a full 25 gram mohair. That's what it was. So Ashley's um, yarn is a thicker weight fingering. So it's more, so you're getting about 420 yards per 100 grams. And then um, the mohair came in 25 gram balls because I used uh, Drops Kid Silk Mohair. So yeah. So there's the cowl, and then because I had a whole nother skein left, and I can't, I can't not create something because, well, the yarn was gifted, and I still need to. I just feel bad. It feels like waste, and it's like I would either pay her for the second skein of yarn I didn't use, or I would create some more stuff. So I did that, and I created this um, headband. I had just finished um, designing a couple hats, so I needed something different. So a headband seemed perfect. And this is knit whole, uh, with fingering and mohair held double. So it's got this beautiful halo to it. And it's just the snowflake pattern on repeat with an I-cord edge. Sorry, it's not picking it up, but it's got a lovely I-cord edge. And what you do is you cast on with an I-cord. So you cast on with this I-cord and you knit it for quite a bit. Sorry, it's being stinky. Anyway. So you knit that for a little bit, and then while the I-cord keeps going down either side, you're knitting, you're knitting these 
beautiful snowflake stitches and you bind off. Then you attach a button, you sew that closed, and then you've got yourself a headband. It is rather wide, but I have a lot of hair and I like to keep my forehead warm. So that is what I do. And then it covers my ears completely. And the button makes it so much easier to put on and off, especially if you've got um, a lot of hair or if you put it up and you don't want to mess it up and things like that. So I really like that because then you don't need to stretch it like crazy to try and get it on your head. And yeah, it's so cozy, so warm despite the lace because of the mohair and I really like it. I wear my hair up a lot when I'm with the kids going out for um, to the park or something because my, my hair is so, so long. It tends to get in the way a lot so I'll just throw it in a top knot and like put this on and it's perfect. So yeah. Um, and then the pattern that I am actually releasing <laughs> is the mittens. So it's um, two strands of mohair held double. Actually, I should preface and say um, it's fingering and mohair here. And you knit that. Then you drop your... Uh, you drop the fingering and you create a liner. So let me pull it out for you and show you. It did get a little stained because of the red from the, um, like this red. But that's okay because it's on the inside and you'll never see it. Um, but yeah, so you create, you knit a whole mitten with two strands of fingering held double. I use um, gusset increases and then you go back and you pick up stitches and you knit the outside of the mitten. So <laughs> I'm just trying to get it back inside. Okay, there we go. So yeah, because the mittens only knit out of fingering and there's these big lace snowflakes on the front, it's they'd be so cold they'd be very very cold and I do um, so the liner is so the liner is there to keep you warm and they're so very warm we were um, at the cottage this past weekend and the temperatures got down to like negative 12 but we still went outside because the sun was shining and it was beautiful and my hands were so warm I actually had to um, take them off at one point because I was getting sweaty but yeah, um, so that's the increases again. Yeah, and that's the mitten. So I have two of them, and I am so happy with these. I mean, look how thick that is. That is like quite a bit of mitten there, and they're so squishy and so wonderful, and I love the colors. and. Yeah, they're, it's called um, Deck the Halls, and I don't actually know if she has any more because it was her Christmas colorway, but I highly recommend getting Ashley's yarn because it is lovely. And the thicker, despite being like a heavier fingering weight yarn, it blocks out beautifully. Like it still grows quite a bit. So everything is just lovely. But yeah, so that is the pattern I am releasing tomorrow along with a collection um, so what you can do is you can purchase the mittens all on their own or you can purchase the whole collection which will I which I will have discounted at an introductory price um, should you happen to already own the cowl pattern send me a message and I will be able to offer you a special discount if you want to buy the mittens and the end or the headband so yeah yeah basically if you already own one of the patterns but you want the rest of them or just one of the other ones then just send me a message and we'll figure it out it won't be not a problem <laughs> so yeah 
that's it. That's all for me. Um, yeah, hope you have a great day. See ya.